my dear little dinky rats. I feel like I need to explain myself to you right now. Yes, I do. But before we do that, I want to say that today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is the world's first web browser built for gamers, which is one of the most brilliant and revolutionary things I've discovered in a while. When other browsers get in the way of my gaming with their crazy RAM and CPU consumption, I start to rage and break things. Lucky for us rodents, Opera GX has got us covered. With GX Control, you can limit how much RAM and CPU the browser uses, so your pony pillows like gaming is not affected while you're listening to music and watching your favorite YouTuber, aka me. And if you're like most rodents and you waste your life away by just aimlessly standing at Steve's farm, oh, you will love this feature. My favorite feature must be the video detach button. If you want to watch a video while training your horse, you can just pop it out and have it over your game. I have been using this non-stop ever since I moved to Opera GX, it is the best. If you're like me and you cannot game without listening to music, then you will absolutely love the social media integrations on the sidebar. There's a Spotify integration for when you want to jam out without tabbing out, there's a Discord integration for when you want to keep an eye out on your server and put the misbehaving rodents back in their place. Opera GX is also on mobile and it can be connected to the desktop version. You can download GX Mobile with a QR code on my screen, or you can get Opera GX for free with the link in my description. So, I was at Steve's farm yesterday, just like any other no-lifer in this game, and I saw my friend riding a Percheron, and then also her friend was riding a Percheron, and I don't know why, am I pronouncing it, it the name correctly? Do you think I care? No. I was gonna look it up, but no, I don't care. And these rodents gave off such like luxurious and rich and cool kids vibes. Now, I'm not a cool kid, we all know that. I'm not a luxurious kid, we all know that. I'm not rich, and we all know that. But my perspective upon the perch run horses has just shifted. I sound more vain than ever, but I can explain myself. I can explain. Listen, what I'm trying to say is that the perch run horses look very like high end, very high quality. And before you start attacking me and ripping me apart in the comment section, where are you at? I think I have an explanation for that. So the reason I feel like these horses are very high end is because of the way their coats are made. They're so freaking detailed, bro. I am not even joking, I think that there was a separate team designing the coats for these horses and then they just got freaking fired. I don't know what happened to them, but the way they made the coats for these horses is so freaking high-end, so freaking realistic and nice. Look at the look at the amount of detail, bro, on the start appling. It's so freaking like real, almost like tangible, like I could almost touch the freaking coat of this horse. I can't even explain it. Compare these detailed apples to the freaking Grey Belgian Wormlust apples that literally look airbrushed. See what I mean? Do you see how nice the coat is and all of these other ones? And then the, the black one has such a nice like matte like texture to it. I can't explain. It's very like matte. You know what I mean? I love that. And then this one, you guys know I've been toying with the idea of buying this rodent for way too long. I love steel greys and this one is just really nice. I really despise the way Star Stable has done the texture of the mane and the tail and you guys know that. The animations are decent, I really like the special move, it's so freaking fancy dude and classy. I feel like all the old money people that would have horses, they would have like a freaking horse like this one. I don't know why I feel that but look at the way the mane moves when galloping, this is like a mess. Looks like it's got freaking hay instead of hairs. I don't like the gallop as much, but it's a draft horse, so like you can't expect the freaking gallop to be very fancy and good looking, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so I only have this perch on this account. Um, also, one thing I really didn't like about these horses is the fact that they look like freaking birds, but that is just the way, like they look like a freaking falcon. Look at the peak that it's got, like it's got like a freaking peak face. What? That's, what did I just say? That made no sense. It's got like a freaking peak. It looks like it's got a peak, you know what I mean? Like a freaking parrot. But that's the way Percheron is look like in real life. So I gotta just shut my mouth up. That's what I gotta do. Alright, for all my French viewers out there, this one is for you, okay? I'm gonna try and say Percheron with a with a French accent. Percheron. Am I saying it right? Percheron. 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 I can't say it, I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. I tried. I tried, okay? So I've always wanted this one, I have it on my uh, on a different account, but I kind of want to have it on this account too. Look at how nice the shading is, bro. I've always been freaking bamboozled by this rodent, the amount of shading it's got. Such a nice bay, and I love bay horses, you guys know that, and the freaking star looks like a freaking... The shape of it reminds me of something that I just simply cannot say on this channel, or on any channels actually. I can't say what I'm thinking of. I think you need help. Then we have this one, which I also really like the coat of it. Look at how nice the freaking dapples are on this one. Dude, whoever made these coats deserves the biggest fat award on this entire world. Look at how nice the detail is. Do you see this? And the freaking chestnuts. I've never seen such detailed chestnuts. What? Do you see that, dude? Anyway, I'm like actually in shock. I really don't like the, um, 
the mane so i'm gonna try and shave it off get braids for these horses you guys know how much i despise their mane and tails you guys probably think i'm freaking held hostage or something you probably like dennis blink twice if you need help why are you buying perch around horses and why do you like them and then this one yeah again i told you what i like about it i like the freaking matte sheen to it there was one more that i wanted to buy wasn't it yeah these four i kind of really want to get my hands on what do we do do you buy them all what what is the matter with you dennis also yes i did change my hair i'm trying to trying to change things dude really going through a crisis on star stable i'm really going through a what i call a star stable identity crisis where i don't know what my main horse should be anymore for my channel where i don't like the way that i look anymore in the game so i go through appearance changes change my hair trying to look more masculine even though it's never gonna happen there is a cool new um what is it a screenshot that i saw from star stable responding to someone's comment on instagram saying that we'll have more, uh, what is it, more masculine characters in the game, which is pretty good news. Anyway, so let's uh, buy the rodent. I'm gonna name it Block. So it's a pretty cool name if you ask me. There we go, friends. I bought the rodent. Yes, I did. Block. My beautiful new horse. Dude, I love it so much. Like, I actually do. Am I okay? Dennis, are you okay? Dude, the freaking shading on this horse. No, I, I'm 100% I'm convinced that the team who did the coats for this horse is out of the window. They're gone. Because these horses, the Percheron horse breed, has such unique and different coats. Like the style, the way that the coats are made is so different and so much better, so much high quality. It's a different technique. It's like this team has left their fingerprint, their mark on these coats, right? Every artist has their own like mark, their own style. And they leave like an, a fingerprint on it, if that makes sense. They leave their like artist mark on it. And that's what they did with the freaking Percherons. And now they're gone, dude, why? Why? This is such like nice, high quality coats. Like, yeah, the model, the animations might not be the best, but dude, the freaking coats. The freaking coats are hitting the spot. Yes, they are. It is time, rodents. I've been stalling by this horse for way too long. Like, I'm talking months. This coat right here might be my favorite coat from the entire game. I wish this coat would be on different model horses. I mean, what? I wish this coat would be on different horses like um, the freaking Belgian Wormbloods. This is what I wanted. And even with the gray Belgian Wormblood I've got, do you guys see how I can't speak? And even with the gray... Belgian worm blood that we got, I still do like that one a lot. Like I do, even though there's some things I don't like about it, like the freaking socks and white marking on the face. It's not bad. I, I still like it, even though there's things I don't like about it. You know, I don't like the, the airbrushed apples and stuff, but it's um it's not as bad as the freaking first one was that we saw in the, the spoilers. I don't know if I should name it Royal Men or Rich Men. I think I'll go with Royal Men. Let's get a rodent. Yes, I'm sure. Alrighty, the next rodent we're getting is the black one. It just gives such old money, rich people vibes. I can't explain it, this horse is just... Chef's kiss. A raven, wait, that's a really cool name actually. Like a raven, that would be so dope, dude. So I was either gonna name it Royal Blood. No, raven is just too good for this horse. Yeah, now I wanna name it Raven. That is such a dope name. We're buying the rodent, yes we are. And there we go. You rodents, I'm not joking, it's taking me 30 minutes to pick a main style for this rodent. Because I was gonna go with a razor cut, it looked really cool. But someone from my Discord server told me something and I will never be able to unsee it again, dude. They were talking about the razor cut. I told them, why do I feel like it's cuter with a razor cut than the braids? And they said, it looks like a child with scissors got happy. And I can't unsee that, it's true. It's like a little like middle schooler that decided to cut their hair. And that's what it is, that's what the freaking, what is it, the razor cut looks like on the Furturons. But dude, it is adorable, okay? The razor cut, dude, it, it is adorable. It is cute on some horses, it really is. Alrighty, we're gonna... Dude, I have... Man, my star coins, they went down a lot. You just bought three horses, you dummy, of course they did. I really don't like this one. I don't know why, I just don't. The eye color really throws me off. Oh yeah, their eyes is something that I used to really despise when they first came out. I couldn't get over how weird their eyes look like. But see, they are... Yeah, they look like freaking birds, like even the eyes do, but, you know, they're realistic, so... Or, like, more like slots, like the eyes, they look very lazy. Anyway, can I just stop comparing everything to animals? Like, I need to stop. I can't do that, dude. I'm literally gonna be out in public, I'm gonna look at someone's face, and I'm gonna be like, you look like a freaking woodpecker. I wish I was joking, but your face resembles a woodpecker. <laughs> okay, I don't tell them that, it's just, that's what I think. <laughs> Those are my intrusive thoughts. Sometimes people look like certain animals to me and I'm like, I need to be stopped right now. I can't control it, dude. I only met one person in my entire life that can relate to me and they can see the resemblance between animals and people. Yeah, I really want to get this one too. It's really dope. Do I though? I bought, I bought so many already. 
Dennis, you kind of need to be stopped, buddy. I'm not exaggerating when I'm telling you that I've been here for the past like 30 minutes thinking whether or not I should buy this one and then, you know, wrap it up. Yeah, I'm getting this one. Wait, do I like the, the main style that I picked for the Rodin? Yeah, everything braids. I really despise this one's mane so much. It is so abrasive and so just structured and it looks very like, oh, this one is the least disgusting one, the tail least. Do you guys realize with the Percherons how the default mane, the default hairstyle has a different tail than all the other ones? Has more like individual hairs. Don't know why they did that. Okay, this one's gonna be royal blood. We're gonna write it now. There we go. I bought freaking four Percheron horses. You guys probably think I'm freaking like, I don't know what, held hostage. I'm being um, blackmailed or something. And I really do understand. I would probably think the same. I'd probably, I'd probably call help for me. Yeah, no, they look just amazing. And this coat in particular, like if you have a certain outfit, it just looks bonerific to say the least. That is a gigantic boner. I need to say something. <laughs> I think the Percheron horses are one of my favorite new horse breeds in the game. They just look so fancy, so high-end, so rich, so wealthy, so just well-made because of the coats and also because they're heavy horses. So these are my new horses. Dude, get on the stable, Rodin. You guys are gonna hold me accountable and you will not allow me to buy any more horses for like two months, okay? All right, so the first one, is royal blood. I really, really love the, the dappling on this horse. The detail is so good. I really do believe that there was a different team that made the coats for these horses because they're so... What the heck is this mane? You're done. All right, then we have block. The shading on this rodent is so good. Um, there's very, very subtle dappling on it. It's really cool. The chestnuts on these horses are so detailed and so nice. Do we have any other horses in the game with such detailed chestnuts? I don't think so. Let's check on the paints. See what I mean? That's like a little, that's like a little rock. It feels like we're being put like in a box and there's like artificial light in that box and that's star stable. The lighting is so fake and so unnatural. I feel like you guys have noticed that in my videos, I always change the time of the day. Cause I'm always bothered by the lighting. It always feels like kind of like dark in the game or like I can't see properly. Uh, I'm not blind. It's just that the game, the way it's made, the lighting in the game is so artificial and weird. Anyway, so yeah, this is my new rodent, Raven. The, the rich one, the high class one. Okay, the animations are not the best ones, but they're also draft horses. They're not the prettiest when it comes to like moving around and stuff. I really do like this animation though. This one, and when they're staying still. Oh, the rear is so bad. Backing up too, like look at their faces when you back up. They look so adorable when you back up. Look at this, look at their rodent faces. Look at that. <laughs> they have such big bubbly eyes. Let me know what you think about the Percherons down below. I really don't know what people feel about them. I feel like people like them. I think there's many people that like them, but many that hate them. So I want to know what you think of them down below. If it wasn't for the codes, I would have never bought them, to be honest. But yeah, I feel like all the cool people do have these horses. Like the racing community, the people that know how to make good outfits in the game have them. But yeah, they're just, they're nice. I like their codes a lot. Look at that. Little rodent. All right, my little Linky Rats. If you want to keep in touch, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Dennis Whitestorm. Like this video, ring the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a good one.